Welcome back to RPG PhD, the channel where we explore the best tips and tricks to enhance your tabletop role-playing games. I'm Dr. Ben, and today we're diving into five hacks in five minutes to make your Dungeons & Dragons sessions more exciting, move faster with less prep time, and make it easier for new players and Dungeon Masters. Whether you're new to the game or seasoned veteran, these hacks will streamline your gameplay and keep the action rolling. So let's get started. Recently, I ran a one-shot for a group of players with mixed experience with RPGs, and I used these hacks to make the game run faster and smoother. First, pre-generated characters. Having a set of pre-generated characters ready can save a lot of time, especially for new players who might be overwhelmed by character creation. Provide a variety of classes and races and let them choose one that appeals to them. This way, you can jump straight into the game. There are lots of pre-generated characters that you can download for free with all the abilities and spells typed out, so all you need is the sheet itself. This makes it easy for new players to pick up and play without the initial hurdle of character creation. Now let's talk about initiative. One of the biggest time sinks in combat is determining who goes when. Here's a simple hack. When rolling for initiative, have the player with the highest initiative go first, then proceed clockwise around the table. This eliminates the need for tracking initiative, and it can significantly speed up the start of combat. If the DM rolls highest, the monsters go first, or as you go around the table when you reach the DM, that's when the monsters go. Most players have played board games or card games, and so this kind of taking turns will be entirely familiar to new players. Next, let's simplify your encounter planning with the target number hack. Instead of calculating different ACs and save DCs for every monster or trap, set a single target number for each room or encounter. Every attack roll or saving throw must meet or beat this number. This not only speeds up the game, but also reduces prep time. For example, if your party is entering a room filled with traps and monsters, decide on a target number, let's say 12. Any attack roll or save against the hazards or creatures in that room must meet or beat 12. This keeps the game moving and makes your prep work a breeze. The players know what they need to roll and can focus on actions and narration instead of trying to figure out what they need to hit. This target number can also be dynamically increased or decreased depending on the situation. This hack streamlines the mechanics, making it easier for new players to grasp and for you to manage multiple encounters. Third, use abstract distance and movement. Instead of tracking exact distances on a grid, use abstract ranges like close, medium, and far. This simplifies movement and keeps combat flowing smoothly. Instead of measuring every five feet, just describe the positions. The goblin is at medium range, or the treasure chest is close by. This reduces the need for constant measuring and speeds up decision making. Using abstract distances keeps the action moving and makes it easier for everyone to visualize the scene. Fourth, let's talk about streamlined skill checks. Instead of asking for specific skill checks, ask players how they want to approach a problem and then determine the most appropriate skill. This keeps the narrative flowing and reduces back and forth. For example, if players want to sneak past guards, ask how they plan to do it. If they describe using the environment to their advantage, it might be a stealth check. If they distract the guards, it could be a deception check. This approach keeps the game dynamic and focused on storytelling rather than getting bogged down in mechanics. Now let's add a special hack for our spellcasters. One way to make casting spells more exciting is to implement spellcasting rolls. Have your players roll to cast their spells. If they fail, they don't lose the spell slot, but something interesting happens. For instance, when a wizard casts a spell, have them roll a d20 and add their spellcasting modifier. If you're using the target number hack from before, they will need to meet or beat that number. If they succeed, the spell works as intended. If they fail, the spell fizzles in an interesting way, but they don't lose the spell slot. On a natural 20, something awesome happens, and on a 1, something terrible but interesting happens. This approach keeps spellcasting exciting and creates consistency across all types of attack rolls. It also adds an element of unpredictability that can lead to memorable moments. To recap, here are the five hacks to make your D&D sessions faster and easier for new players. Use the highest initiative goes first and move clockwise, set a target number for encounters, have pre-generated characters ready, use abstract distance and movement, streamline skill checks, and have spellcasters roll for spell casting. These techniques will keep your game running smoothly and make it more accessible for new players and DMs alike. Thanks for tuning in to RPG PhD. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.